I, I can't imagine breaking a bat. single one of his bats. Let's see if that caught Richie. Did he Not. hit the bat? And so, Paul or did it hit him. It did it. What, what did? What did? It, what happened? Okay. Chaos. I like that, it. that was interesting because usually when it hits you, you're going to immediately go and hit me. JB Wendelkins now in the ball game. Tori Lovello is wondering if it actually hit him. That's knob. That caught three. That caught yeah, all three. It caught the knob. It caught Carson Kelly and it caught Jerry Lane. Yeah, Jerry's Jerry's woozy. Look at Tori's trying to hold him up. You know, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think Tori initially came out to argue whether it hit him, and now he's concerned naturally about he should be about Jerry Lane. Yeah, that does, that doesn't look good. He's wincing. I think he said his eyes were blurry. I mean, that got Carson Kelly right on the bicep. That's that's interesting because it really it it did it didn't really it was just a not even a glancing blow. Sometimes the angle of the hit is more important than the blunt force behind it. For instance, on this one's the foul ball. It hits the catcher's arm and then goes up into Lane's face. So it's sort of that uppercut that we saw in that last video to the side. Also key is the history. For instance, one of my biggest motivators for stepping off of the field was knowing, hey, there's now this concussion history which makes you more susceptible in the future and keep repeating the head trauma, it both injures a lot easier and also a lot more severe. One of the umpires is running in, so I don't, th I don't think Keith Duggar or the Diamondbacks athletic trainer feel comfortable with Jerry right now. Yeah. You see his eyes are watering. Yeah, I, I mean, I, there's no way you'd think Jerry would continue. So he'll, he's going to come out, and then they'll go with a three-man crew, and w either Chad Whitson, Nick Marley, probably not Adam Hammery will go under, because Adam I last think night worked is play. Who ran in. So, yeah, so Whitson will go get his gear Was that the batter was hit by the pitch? Arizona is challenging that ruling of a hit by pitch. So, in addition to all of that, they're going to have a challenge, and we'll give you the result when we come back. Imagine getting hurt, head injury, everything spinning, woozy, hurting, dizzy, blurry, and someone wants to argue a call. <laughs> I've lived it, and it's definitely not fun. <laughs> Adam Hamry will step into the crew chief role here and gives probably the best explanation of a replay review outcome I have heard all season long. There's no way you can tell. I'm, I'm with you, Corey. I thought it hit the, the knob of the bat. We'll find out in a second. After review, the ruling on the field is overturned. It is a foul ball. Batter is back to bat. The count is no balls, two strikes. Arizona will retain their challenge. Yeah, when, when I hear this, it just takes me back to, you know, in years past, forever, there was no microphone on an umpire. That, that was a beautiful and well-articulated synopsis of what took place. And now everybody in the ballpark and everyone at home knows, okay, this is what...
transpired, and, and I, I don't know why it took so long, but I'm glad we have it. With that now, we're going to go to a commercial break. The greatest pitch game of all time. Zip zip after 16. Oh, man, how many pitchers did you guys use tonight? Oh, we each used one. One. One each. Juan Marichal, Warren Spahn, 1963, hooking up at Candlestick Park. You gotta love, you gotta love the battle from the 25 versus the 42 year old. You really do. That's something else. You know, when, when you look at old box scores, that's a, that's a special one. And as Billy was talking about, some great players partook in that one. Some all timers. So Chad Whitson is now behind the plate. And it'll be a three man crew. And, and these guys are used to working three man crew coming up in the minor leagues. Uh, on occasion, when one of their brethren goes down. So the mechanics change a little bit. And we wish uh, Jerry Lane all the best. So it's an 0-2 count on Randall Gritchick. J.B. Wendelkin just came into the ball game. Misses with the breaking ball. It's one and two. The Rock